So hi everyone, in today's video, I will be revealing my secret on how I get my images absolutely sharp whenever I am editing. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. Now, if you guys want to see some of the images that I've actually processed and uploaded, you could always find me in my social media sites. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino on TikTok, Instagram, and on Facebook. Now, this channel is primarily a lighting tutorial channel or basically anything about photography, which includes this. But if you want to see some of my lighting tutorials, feel free to check out the rest of the videos in my channel. So in today's video, as I said earlier, I will be revealing my secret on how I sharpen my images in post-production. But at the same time, I also want to show you how I am able to do all these things so easily and it is because of the help of this one. You guys might be wondering what this is. This is the Huion Canvas 22 Plus. It's an editing tablet. One thing I love about these types of tablets is that you can actually draw straight on the screen, which makes it so much easier. Now, one of the reasons why I love this particular tablet or this editing tablet is because it's huge. It's 22 inches or basically about 19.5 from end to from corner to corner. It's got an amazing contrast ratio of 1400 is to one, and it's got 140% sRGB, so it gives you very good color also. So this is the Huion tablet. It comes even with a stand. It depends on how I want to edit with, and that's basically what I do. So with my editing or with my image sharpening, I actually have it in an action set, and that's why if you notice, I actually have Bridge opened up instead of Lightroom because a lot of my raw conversion software, or a lot of my raw conversion happens in Capture One and I export it as PSD, as you can see here. You can see I have my process images, which is details, groom preps, bride preps, church ceremony, couple portraits, and reception. I left details unedited so that I can show you why I love this particular software. So what I'll do is I will click on all and then go to tools then go to Photoshop image processor. Now in image processor, you could see here, I have an option to save in the same loca location, which I will do. Then I'll save it as a PSD and run my action contrast sharpening. You notice how cool this particular tablet is. It's just so easy for you to use it like a normal computer, except that you have everything as a pen, just makes life so much simpler. And this thing is actually very accurate when it comes to editing, as I will show you guys later. All right, so now we have everything done. You see that it created a new file here, which is called PSD. So this is where all the PSD files are, the ones that were rendered in Bridge. And we will edit Bright Preps. Bright Preps, you can see, there you go. I already did it so that we don't have to waste too much time showing you. Now, if you guys are wondering what happened during that action of contrast sharpening, I will actually put it in the end of the video, a step-by-step -step process on what I would do and how I created that action set. Now, the reason why I'm not doing it now is because I wanted to show you guys my entire editing process and how simple it is and how quick it is, also with the help, of course, of this tablet right here. So let's open, let's say, one portrait, like so. So with this one, all I have to do, so now once my image is open, all I need to do is press F first, to have the entire image open. And you can see that there is a layer right here that is masked. In other words, I do all my contrast sharpening and then I mask it so that I can take my brush tool, put it on white, and just sharpen the areas that I want to sharpen. Now, if you notice, again, because of this drawing tablet, it's so easy for me to just do that. And basically, this is the area that I sharpened right there. So I normally sharpen just the eyes, the hair, the nostrils, the mouth, and articles of clothing, and that's basically it. That's image sharpening for you, and it's contrast sharpening. You notice here, let me show you. Look, look at the difference. Let me zoom in. Look at the eyes. Look at how immediately it sharpens just by doing that action set. And you can see here the action set. I have it right here, but once again, I will show you at the very end of the video every single process that I hear, that I did here, and I will explain it then. So with that, all I have to do is press Command S, and then we are actually good to go. Next image. So this one I mark six. 
Normally, when I'm editing, I have my keyboard right here for purposes of the demo, though I don't have it right here. But again, F, then you already have the sharpening layer here. Bring out your brush tool, white, 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 white. Make it smaller, white, 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 white. See, it's so easy as if I were a kid drawing on a piece of paper. That's how I'm doing everything. Everything's so automated, everything's so easy to do. And that's how simple it is. I have everything automated as an action set so that I can run it in bridge. And then at the same time, with the help of tablets like this one, an editing tablet like this Huion Canvas 22 Plus, it's so much easier for you to just do all your edits because it's as if you're playing, you're just drawing on your screen, okay? Now here is what you're waiting for. This is what I automated. This is my contrast sharpening. So the first thing we need to do is make a new layer by pressing Command J or Control J. Then from there, we just have to follow these simple steps. You notice here, the first one is layer via copy. Then you go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. In unsharp mask, you make your amount 18, then your radius 40, and afterwards your threshold at zero, then you press OK. Afterwards, you make another um, unsharp mask, you unsharp mask it again, but this time you make your amount 150, then you do your radius at 0.3, and your threshold still at zero. Then from there, what you'll do is you'll go edit, fade, then opacity 100%, then you go put on mode darken. Then afterwards, you make another one, unsharp mask again, the same one as earlier, basically filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, then you still make it at 150.3 and zero, and you're good to go. Then again, fade, edit fade, unsharp mask, 50% opacity, then you go mode lighten, okay? Then from here, you could actually see the sharpening that's already been done. Let me zoom in, let me show you. I'll toggle, this is a sharpened layer, and this is the unsharpened layer, so you see there. But the thing is, I don't want any of the skin sharpened, and that's why my final step is I will hold down my option key, press the mask, add layer, mask layer, add layer, mask button, sorry, and immediately it will mask it black, which removes everything, which then allows me to brush in the sharpened parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do subscribe to the channel, and while you're at it, click that notification bell. Now, once again, if you want to see some of the images that I've created, you could always follow me in my social media sites at Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, all at Shiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.